Welcome to Tech Simplified, and my name is Sly Gittins, and you're about to pass the AI 900. All you have to do is watch this video, follow my step-by-step -step guide, and you will be in cruise control to pass this exam. So stay locked in and watch this video to the end. My guide is going to make it really easy for you to prepare for the Microsoft Azure AI Fundamentals, or better known as the AI 900. Um, this guide is your one-stop shop for everything, like I said earlier. So who is this exam for? I think it's essential to start here because you're going to need to know why are you taking this and how can it help you. So I made sure to put that information. I pulled right from the Microsoft website. So candidates for this exam should have the foundational knowledge of machine learning and artificial intelligence concepts and related Microsoft Azure services. If you don't have any idea of Azure, you might want to take the AZ 900 to get yourself familiar with the Microsoft Azure practice, but you don't need to. There are no prerequisites for this exam. The skill measure section, as you can see here, that is like the Bible for this, right? This is your guideline on um, what is going to be on the exam and it's updated quite frequently. So when you take a look at my guide, take a look at that as well, because that's going to be the source of truth that AI's 900 skill measure document Compare it to mine. If you listen to this, depending on when you listen to it, it could be some stuff out of date. Uh, but as of today, everything is up to, to date. Right? So the next thing you want to know is, well, what key areas do I need to focus on? So that's in the objective domains. So the first one is describe AI workloads consideration. Describe fundamental principles of machine learning on Azure. Describe features of computer vision workloads on Azure. Describe features of natural language processing workloads on Azure and describe features of conversational AI workloads on Azure. So one thing to know with Microsoft exams, don't focus on uh, the 30 to 35 because I had some exams where I actually had more of one section than the other. So make sure you take a look at all the sections. With that being said, what I like to do is take a practice test before I start studying, see what areas that I'm weak at, and then from there assess where to spend that time. Um, so if you, after you take a practice exam, you realize that, you know what, my described fundamentals principle of machine learning is really low. That's 30%, the 35% of the test possibly, right? You might want to spend more time on there. So that's one thing I started to do. But one thing I learned really quickly, it can be one of the other sections be a little bit higher. Just don't know what the Microsoft exams from time to time. So once you know that is, what's going to be on the exam? So what I did is, Every single thing that was on that skills measure document, I created a corresponding link to help you learn what's going to be on the test. And the great thing, these are all Microsoft Learn documents. So I try to find all data that came from Microsoft so we know it's the source of truth uh, to help us um, study. So each section, you're going to see the corresponding link that goes into information. And if you have one of my, my guys, they're pretty spot on and accurate. And I use this to pass the exam. So yes, I am certified with my AI 900. Um, took it one shot, got a 92. That's like 900 um, score. Uh, but again, the score is not really weighted, but I knew I had over 900 points on the exam. And I use this study guide. Um, I also like Sometimes people learn differently. So I gave you different app options, right? You have the free uh, Microsoft Learn training. These are mostly text-based with some videos sprinkled in. I know some people like to actually go to exams and have a physical um, instructor there. So I put that option in for you. It's $550 to do that. Um, I also like to throw in third parties. That's not Microsoft. I like Cloud Academy. They have a $39 subscription. You can get access to this AI a Zam prep and many more, right? So you're not buying one. So just depending on how you want to go, the Cloud Academy is pretty great. Uh, also, they have some different practice tests. Microsoft has the official practice tests you can get through. There are also some free um, free sample questions. I say take as many samples questions as you can. That's the way you can prepare for these exams. Um, there are also um, exam topics. I love them. They have some really good exams there. Again, some additional practice questions that will get you familiar for how the question is going to be asked. And again, with this test, it's not telling you how to configure anything. It's more your topical knowledge um, of the subject, right? So a high-level overview. Um, Azure Community Support, I put that in there as well because it's essential to work with your peers to ask certain questions in there. And sometimes they already have the questions in there for you and additional information that you won't find on Microsoft Learn. And that's it. Um, I wanted to keep it really simple. 
So stay locked in. I'm going to tell you how you get this guide. So I know you want this study guide, and I'm happy to give it to you. So make your way over to LinkedIn. Add me on there. My name is Sly Gittins. Send me a message saying, hey, Sly, I want that AI 900. Also, make sure to leave a comment below and say, hey, Sly, watch this video. I need to have that study guide. Um, and also, let me know what you liked about it. What other videos you want to see? I also have some great videos um, about the AZ900, the MS500, the AZ500, and so many other videos and some cool women in tech videos. So make sure you watch those on the channel. And if you don't have LinkedIn, send me an email. My email is gettingsylvester at gmail.com. And um, I will also have that in the show notes. And thank you, as always, for tuning in. And um, until next time, Sly Gittins is out. Peace.